kicked the bat on 10 days. He is 24 and a number. Sixth round knockout against Benito Rodriguez. To be a young version of a young Diego Corrales with 29. He has been knocked out twice. Once by saw last week here on Friday Night Fight. Corrales, of course, are sort of in the tradition of those tall, lanky, string bean type great punches we've had. Alexis, great punching light heavyweight champion. Tall, thin guys get a lot of leverage in their punches. Counter left hand. People just getting out of work on a Friday, making their way in. But journeyman type guy took this, as you said, at the top 10 day notice. Doesn't matter a lot for him, five and two. So he has to be ready to take fights on quick notice. Arroyo's been able to score with a counter left. He's very concerned about Arroyo and Arroyo. Trick here is if he can charge him without getting caught and get it to get past the long reach of Corrales. He doesn't want to be on the outside. <laughs> Adjust his punches. Really punch on the inside with Hollyfield the first time. Surprise Hollyfield. A double left hand from Corrales after he landed a short right inside. He's not fighting tall. Oh. And now goes Arroyo. That should be his forte. But he's got to be able to throw short punch. Corrales showed me that ability with that knockdown with the right uppercut. She's inside with the shorter Hollyfield, who thought he was going to smother him. Take a look at some punch numbers in round number one. And Corrales busier. Of course, he scored the knockdown late in the round. Corrales started boxing at the age of eight. He was suspended from school so often that his dad, Ray Woods, took him to the gym. And he immediately got involved in the amateur. 95. He has some other passions as well, does Corrales. He spent up. He said, I got there, and there were all guys there. Well, here's where, this is where Royal wants to be, on the inside. Even though he got dropped the last time there, he can't survive on the outside, that's for sure. It's the left at this point. There was concern. Corrales' side, people's side, that a royal could be dirty sometimes in fights. Boxing. Sterling record of 20. The interesting thing to me, so not done most of his big work on the outside. He's done a lot of good work like here. Uses that right hand like some people use a left hand. Doubles it up. And Diego Corrales control. Diego Corrales and Hector Arroyo. Arroyo, good advice from a real seasoned guy like that. Wants to use his height. Three rounds of the bout. Corrales dominating this fight. Of the 112 punches landed. Not really using his height and using the... Exactly. Against better competition. That's the key word. Be able to impose his strong... Be able to take advantage of those physical advantages of being tall lanky stringy yeah, you can see it he's relaxed now it looks like he's recipe for success and i asked him how he's my brothers i decided you know cook him good meals and now he specializes and can't wait until after the weigh-in when he can finally eat oh he's throwing some combinations here he got caught a left with experience you got to learn how many punches you'll march of 1990s he just went down on his knee there but hey, he went down oh good right hand to the east. you can see he has good vision in there bob he sees nice spots, stays nice and punch. Good thing to <laughs> turn pro when he was 18 years old. Good thing to the, the junior lightweight. Yeah, definitely a 20 somewhere in that area, but you start to fill out a little bit at that time. Of course, in the old days, we do a lot of them. I mean, he was a master of the dirty. He was so dirty. Through the first three rallies. 102 more power punches landed through this point in the fight. Remember, Arroyo was not good. Well, it wasn't on the chin. That's it. You saw in the interview, the two earrings in each ear, and the body pierced like that, that, you know, you could get cut, and maybe it would lead to bleeding easier. So when you get pierced, Teddy scorecard after 3-1 with Arroyo going down. Well, keep that left hand up a little, believe. A little undisciplined. Your old son, Joel Ray, Sir Allen. Afraid to have the confidence, not that the Royals are afraid. Confidence to step in and throw that right hand with the right hand because his left hand is down a little bit. And up with the kind of guys he's fought, a Royal probably be one of the better guys that he's fought for. Corral is the good punch of Corral is there because it's not going to be tested. Keep it up in there. Doesn't mean that it's right. Doesn't mean to you in trouble to correct it. Good body shot there by Corrales. Good up punch to the throw. Chin for him. Nice box. And 
again, it's roll in what position? Oh, uppercut. <laughs> round number four in a scheduled 10 round. Diego Corrales continues his team. It's been on the up and up. It was a round number one, and Diego did this bout. Earlier, Bob, just before the end of that round. Oh, oh the Royal staggered again. That is 12 punch when the guy falls in like an uppercut. Uh, Mitch Halpern steps in and stops it. And it, it, you can see the camera in a second. They're attending to the cut over the right eye of Corrales at the end of the last.